hi family welcome back to the channel once again today we are making pineapple and beetroot drink yes guys pineapple and beetroot so you can feel free to call it pine beet drink or you can call it beet pine drink either way it's fine so without further ado let's get right into it to make that you can see that we'll be using some pineapple and some beetroot so first of all you want to go ahead to peel your pineapple just like i'm doing you want to thoroughly peel off all the skin yes guys and once you're done peeling the pineapple you're going to go ahead to spot it into smaller sizes as well so guys if you're still here till this moment that means you are enjoying the video and if you are yet to subscribe to this channel kindly do so this is the right time guys it's a way of encouraging me and it's a way of pushing my content out because once you subscribe to the channel more people will see through you and definitely some will subscribe and some will like the video so guys without further ado let's get right into it now the next thing i'll be doing is for me to peel my beetroot just like i'm doing with my potato peeler so i'm going to go ahead and make sure i peel all of it guys oh lest i forget before you start doing this you want to make sure that your beetroot and pineapple are thoroughly washed while the skin is still on so that way all the sands on it would have been washed off so after i'm done peeling both the pineapple and the beetroot then the next thing i went ahead to do is to cut my pineapple into smaller sizes and i'm going to do the same thing to the beetroot as well i'm going to cut everything into smaller sizes and i'm going to go ahead and add it to my blender to blend it but at this point if you have a juicer all you just have to do is pour everything into your juicer and then you will have the juice and the fiber will be separated but because i do not have a juicer and i do not want that to stop me from making this healthy drink that's why i still proceeded to make use of my blender guys if you're doing this make sure you don't have too many water or too much water to uh, the fruit because the the boat fruit contains a lot of water yes healthy water so at this point i poured everything into my blender so i'm going to add in few cloves so at this point if you have ginger you can add it to it as well but i do not have ginger so i'm going to be adding just clove but if you know that you don't like any uh taste different from that of pineapple then i bet that you want to uh, skip the clove part don't bother to add clove so if you have ginger you can add it to it if you like the taste of ginger so at this point i added it to the water and i need to, to blend it quickly just like i'm doing Yes, guys, you want to carefully and thoroughly blend this until everything is smooth. So that way, when you are straining it, you will know that you will get all your juice extract of the uh, beetroot and the pineapple. And guys, here is what I have. So now I'm going to proceed to the next stage, and that is the stage whereby I'm going to be straining this. Yes, guys, if you have a bigger sieve, it will really, really be fast. But because I do not have a bigger sieve, I'm making use of this small one. So it's kind of a bit stressful. But all the same, I was able to pull that through. And that's what you can see that I'm on the last stage of this training, guys. So if you're still here to this moment once again, and you're ahead yet to subscribe to this channel, Eda from Biko, kindly subscribe to the channel. Share this video. Save this video because it will come in handy whenever you are ready to make yours and whenever you make yours kindly leave a comment at the comment section let me know how you think let me know what you feel about the drink but it tastes really really good and it is healthy just refrigerate it and then you have a healthy drink rather than you taking soda drink every time and until next time i come your way thank you so much for always staying by i love you all Bye.